Volcanoes. Volcanoes are formed when molten, sticky rock called magma forces its way through a crack in the Earth's crust. The melted rock that spills out of the crater on the top of the volcano is called lava. The lava destroys everything in its path because it is very, very hot. Watch this video and take notes. What are volcanoes? How many types of volcanoes are there? Where do volcanoes happen? Most volcanoes are formed on land, but there are some volcanoes that are on the ocean floor. Some of these volcanoes emerge from the water because they are very high. Why does a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when magma and gases find a way to escape, so they burst to the surface through a vent. An eruption can be quite gentle or very violent. Where do volcanoes happen? Most volcanoes are formed on land, but there are some volcanoes that are on the ocean floor. Some of these volcanoes emerge from the water because they are very high. Why does a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when magma and gases find a way to escape so they burst to the surface through a vent. An eruption can be quite gentle or very violent. Types of volcano. Volcanoes can be active, dormant, or extinct. A volcano is active or alive when it erupts often. When a volcano is dormant or sleeping, it has not erupted for a long time but it might in the future. A volcano is extinct or dead when it hasn't erupted for at least 100,000 years. Video. Continue watching the video. This time, pay attention to the places where volcanoes occur. Take notes. Where do volcanoes occur? Volcanoes occur at hot spots, plate boundaries, Convergent, subduction zones, divergent. Hot spots. Spot on Earth with volcanism. Can occur in the middle of tectonic plates. Hot spots don't move. Tectonic plates move over hot spots. Make a chain of volcanoes like Hawaii. Where do volcanoes occur? Hot spots. Spot on Earth with volcanism. Can occur in the middle of tectonic plates. Hot spots don't move. Tectonic plates move over hot spots. Make a chain of volcanoes like Hawaii. Do volcanoes occur? Hot spots. Hawaii. Where do volcanoes occur? Convergent plate boundaries, where two of Earth's plates join together or one moves under the other. Subduction zone. Most major volcanoes are found near subduction zones. Stratovolcanoes, most dangerous. Two different types. Ocean, ocean, ocean continent. Where do volcanoes occur? Ocean, ocean, island volcanic arcs, like Japan, Aleutian Islands, Alaska. Where do volcanoes occur? Ocean continent, continental volcanic arcs, Andes Mountain, South America, Cascades, Northwest United States. Where do volcanoes occur? Divergent plate boundaries, where two of Earth's plates move apart. Ring of fire, belt along the Pacific Ocean. Famous volcanoes. Can you name some famous volcanoes? Watch the video. Do the worksheet. Etna, Sicily. Famous volcanoes. Where are these volcanoes? Guess. 
Work in groups. Structure of a volcano. Watch this video and write as many parts of the volcano as you can. Structure of a volcano. Ash cloud. Lava. Central vent. Old layers of lava. Side vent. Magma. Earth's crust. Structure of a volcano. Ash cloud. Lava. Central vent. Side vent. Old layers of lava. Magma. Earth's crust. Structure of a volcano. Some definitions. Magma. The molten or liquid-like rock within the earth. Lava. Magma that reaches earth's surface. Vent. An opening through which molten, liquid-like rock flows onto earth's surface. Volcanoes always have one central vent, but can also have several smaller side vents. Types of volcano. There are three major types of volcanoes. Shield volcanoes. Composite volcanoes. Cinder cone volcanoes. Types of volcano. Shield volcanoes. The magma inside a shield volcano is rich in iron and magnesium and is very fluid. Since the magma is very fluid, the lava coming out of the volcano tends to flow great distances. When shield volcanoes erupt, the flowing lava gives the volcano the shape of a gently sloping mountain. Types of volcano. Shield volcanoes. Eruptions of shield volcanoes are mild and can occur several times. Mauna Loa in Hawaii is an example of a shield volcano. Types of volcano. Composite volcanoes. The magma inside a composite volcano is rich in silica and much thicker than magma from a shield volcano. Gases get trapped inside this thicker magma. Eruptions from composite volcanoes can be flowing lava or explosions. The explosive eruptions come from the trapped gases and produce cinders and ash. Types of volcano. Composite volcanoes. These different types of eruptions are what give composite volcanoes their alternating layers of lava and cinders. Composite volcanoes have much steeper slopes than shield volcanoes. Mount Fuji in Japan and Mount St. Helens in the USA are examples of composite volcanoes. Types of volcano. Composite volcanoes. Vent, magma, ash, lava, branch pipe. Composite volcano. Types of volcano. Cinder cone volcanoes. The magma inside a cinder cone volcano has large amounts of gas trapped in it. Eruptions from cinder cone volcanoes are violent and explosive because of all the gas trapped in the magma. The large amounts of hot ash and lava thrown out of the vent fall to the ground, forming the cone shape that these volcanoes have. Types of volcano. Cinder cone volcanoes. Vent. Magma. Fine ash. Cinder. Ash cinder volcano. Eruptions. Viscosity, together with the amount of gas dissolved in magma, can determine the explosivity of the eruption. More viscous magma with volatiles is more explosive than less viscous magma where gases can bubble out relatively easily. Glossary. Bomb. A lump of rock thrown out in an eruption. Crater. A deep hollow at the top of a volcano. Crust. The top layer of the earth. Eruption. The release of gases, magma, and rock from a volcano. Lava. Melted rock that flows down the volcano. Magma. Melted rock inside the earth. Molten. Melted. Liquid.
vent. A crack on the side of a volcano where magma can escape. Experiment 1. Viscosity. What is viscosity? It is the resistance to flow in a fluid or liquid. Experiment 1. Viscosity. Instructions. Explore the viscosity of different household liquids by timing how fast paper clips travel through different fluids. Observe that more viscous fluids are thicker and harder for objects like paper clips and gas bubbles to travel through. Compare the fluids to different magmas and determine whether the magmas would be explosive or non-explosive. Experiment 1. Viscosity. Items. Graduated cylinders. 10 to 100 milliliters. Paper clips. Dish soap. Syrup. Cooking oil. Water. Strong magnets, about three to four. Experiment one, viscosity. Work in groups. Fill in your worksheet while experimenting. Remember, more viscous magma with volatiles is more explosive than less viscous magma where gases can bubble out relatively easily. Experiment two. Soda bottle demonstration. Purpose. To provide an example of a volcanic eruption using everyday items, showing how gases behave when dissolved in a liquid and how pressure and agitation affect the dissolved gases. Experiment two. Soda bottle instructions. Take an unopened soda bottle since the bottle is unopened and under pressure, there should be no evidence of carbonation. Twist off the cap. Place the balloon over the bottle opening. Tape the balloon to the bottle so it does not pop off. Experiment 2. Soda bottle demonstration. Step 1. Does the bottle have any gas in it? Can you see it? Why? Experiment 2. Soda bottle demonstration. Step 1. All the gas is dissolved in the liquid, so it is invisible because the soda is under pressure and the gas elements are in a liquid phase. This is exactly how gases behave in magma. When under pressure, volcanic gases are dissolved in the magma but will expand and try to escape when pressure is released. Experiment 2. Soda bottle demonstration. Step 1. In fact, what happens if you shake a soda bottle and then open it? The bottle will explode when opened. Experiment 2. Soda bottle demonstration. Step 2. What's happening? Within a minute, the balloon will stiffen and will show signs of filling with gas. If the bottle is left alone for an hour or so, the balloon will be visibly inflated. Experiment 2. Soda bottle demonstration. Step 2. Why? When the pressure is reduced, the gas in the soda leaves the liquid and travels to the balloon. This effect mirrors what happens when magma rises closer to the Earth's surface. The pressure is reduced and gases will try to escape. Experiment 2. Soda bottle demonstration. Step 3. What happens if you shake the bottle? Experiment 2. Soda bottle demonstration. Step 3. The agitation of the bottle mirrors the effects of an earthquake. Gases will leave the liquid at a greatly increased rate. Earthquakes can trigger volcanic eruptions by agitating the magma and causing dissolved gases to leave the solution. Group work, 3D model. 3D model. You will need a small plastic bottle without a lid, newspaper, white glue, water, a bowl, a large cardboard box, 
scissors, paint and brushes. Instructions. 3D model. Instructions. Cut a large square out of your cardboard box to make the baseboard. Using white glue, stick the bottom of the drinks bottle to the baseboard. Rip half of the newspaper into inch-wide strips. In a bowl, create a mixture of thin white glue and water. Scrunch up sheets of the remaining newspaper. Submerge it in the glue mixture and stick it onto the cardboard around the base of the bottle. Continue to use scrunched up newspaper to build up the volcano around the sides of the drinks bottle. 3D model. Next, dip strips of newspaper into the glue mixture and lay them on the top of each other, covering the scrunched up paper from the bottle opening to the cardboard base. Add several layers of torn paper until the shape resembles a volcano. Leave to dry for at least 24 hours. Once the paper mache is completely dry, use paint to decorate the volcano. Three D model: How to make lava. Using the funnel, add two or three tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda to the bottle in the center of the volcano. Next. Add a couple of drops of red food coloring. Finally, get ready for your volcano to erupt and add the white vinegar. When you add vinegar to bicarbonate of soda, a chemical reaction occurs. The result is carbonic acid. This is an unstable substance. You can tell from all the fizzing. The mixture instantly separates into a gas and a liquid, producing carbon dioxide and water.